in the universe, under the background of the vast and deep starry sky. In the center of the barren planet, huge amounts of thrones stand tall. Sitting on the throne, Thanos tilted his head and tapped his fingers. Eyes closed, deep in thought. He was thinking about what was said in the chat group. Every piece of information in it is worth pondering for him. Because, in it, there may be some incredible information hidden. After a long time, he opened his eyes. In the eyes, the light flashed away. With a confident smile on his face, it seems that Odin's recent situation is not good. I can't even control my own son. As this poor discipline, or is Odin already powerless? I'm afraid it's both. Thinking of this, the smile on Thanos' face became even brighter. At this moment, a figure stepped over the guards and walked slowly towards him. The moment he saw this figure, the smile on Thanos' face froze. Then, bright again, Gamora, my daughter, why are you here when you are free? On the opposite side, Gamora, who was walking slowly, couldn't help sighing. I don't know when it started, her adoptive father, who is feared by the world. There is a habit of smirking in a daze on the throne. With that silly look, he couldn't see the attitude that a thousand stars destroyer should have at all. However, this is not a good thing for her, she is no stranger to this. Walking closer, Gamora said coldly, about the god egg, you mentioned, we have already found clues. Oh? Thanos couldn't help squinting. In the eyes, the light of interest is refracted. Tell me what you know, he can't wait to find some allies for what's next. After all, it is a bit too dangerous. Even if it is him, it is inevitable that he will have a trick in his heart. According to some rumors, this god egg exists in. Gamora continued with his face unchanged. Sitting on the throne, Thanos listened to the information with interest. However, as he listened, his expression became more and more weird. Existed for millions of years? This is understandable. After all, the long lived races in the universe are rare. However, that doesn't mean there aren't any traces all over every corner of the universe? On this point, it also makes sense. After all, with a long life, you always need to find something to pass the time. But, do you like to leave your offspring on passing planets? On this point, it is also understandable. After all, someone likes to leave footprints where they go. And this god ego, maybe what he likes is to leave behind descendants. However, hearing this, Thanos was a little confused. Immediately afterwards, the corners of his mouth twitched uncontrollably. MMP. How sure is this guy not here to make trouble? The same goes for family planning. I'm F asterisk king planning. And this god, ego, is mainly responsible for fertility? I said, why is there more and more people in this universe? Co-author. This is someone working against me. Thanos was lost in thought for a moment. The expression on his face changed for a while, cloudy and sunny. Seeing this. Gamora couldn't help shaking her head and sighing. It's over, he's in a daze again. Is this what some races call dementia? Kamar Taj. Inside the magic holy place. Because Tony is busy dealing with palladium poisoning, Dr. Banner is staying here for now. After all, staying in Wakanda isn't exactly safe either. Many people already have a shadow on him. Simply return to the magic holy place. At the moment, he looked at the strange container on the table in front of him, feeling a little dazed. Exalted mage, what is this? You took my blood sample for this. That's right. Making potions is a brand new attempt, Russell replied without looking back. Potion? Banner seemed a little unfamiliar with this sudden word, and couldn't help muttering in his heart. Soon. Steaming, rising. Various materials were mixed together, staining the entire container into a strange color. An inexplicable breath filled the air, as if there was a strange light looming. Snoring. Seeing the more and more weird changes inside the container, Banner couldn't help swallowing. For some reason, he seemed to have the illusion of returning to the laboratory. And what is going on now is an evil experiment. However, soon, he abandoned this idea in his heart. How could the Supreme Mage do evil experiments with my blood? Supreme Mage, is a man of integrity, however, at this moment. Accompanied by the sound of heavy footsteps, a figure of huge amounts have stepped into the holy place. Dormammu. Why are you here? Russell cast a glance, suddenly a little surprised. But soon, his heart moved, and he couldn't help smiling on his face. You came just in time to help me try the effect of this potion. Hearing this, Dormammu, who had just entered the door, was taken aback for a moment. Immediately afterwards, looking at the strange Luli container, my heart trembled suddenly, with a vague premonition. 
hastily called Ahaha, ahem, supreme mage, this matter. Let's talk later. But this time, I came here because I caught an intruder. Intruder. Is there anyone else who dares to break into the magic holy place? Hearing this, Russell couldn't help turning his head. He wanted to see who had the guts to do so. Immediately, Dormammu picked up a figure from behind. The moment he saw this figure, Russell couldn't help being a little surprised. It's you, Loki. How did you end up on Earth? It was his words. No wonder. After all, this guy has a criminal record. However, this time he probably never expected it. In today's magic holy place, there is an extra monster guarding the gate. Moreover, Dormammu is extremely sensitive to all kinds of auras. This Loki, fell. At the moment, Loki is delirious. He was in tatters all over his body. A gorgeous armor, as if picked up from a garbage dump. Potholes. Those dull eyes were full of unrequited emotions. It's like, it's unbearable. It's like going through a painstaking torture. Watching this, Russell almost couldn't help laughing out loud. This Dormammu, really, dedicated, beside. Dr. Banner was also dumbfounded. Is this Loki? Thor's younger brother. The one who manipulated the destroyer armor last time? How do you feel, a little bit different? This gray faced look. Why is the son of God King Odin always so downcast every time he appears on Earth? And at this time, hearing Russell's question, Loki finally came to his senses. Under the messy hair, the stagnant eyes regained a little agility. Looking at the supreme mage that appeared in front of his eyes, tears seemed to glisten. Full of grievances suddenly broke out, roaring. Supreme mage, is this your Kamar Taj hospitality? Don't let me go yet. After speaking, he gave Dormammu a hard look. The angry eyes seemed to want to engrave his impression on his heart. It's okay to almost smash him into a biscuit. In the end, he frankly strangled him behind his ass. This is so. That surging gluteus maximus, strong muscles. The sour feeling of friction almost didn't make him die directly. However, what responded to him was Dormammu's dismissive smile. On the ferocious face, the eyes are full of fierceness. It seems that the lesson I just taught you is not enough. As he spoke, his arm muscles twitched suddenly. In his flustered eyes, he lifted him up again. That huge and terrifying body shape gives people an unimaginable sense of oppression. Loki's figure was in front of him, like a little chicken. Flustered, struggling, but it didn't have the slightest effect. He could only look over with help seeking eyes, and wailed in his mouth. Help me, Supreme Mage, seeing this, Russell couldn't stand it any longer. Although Loki's backdrop is a joy to hear, however, he wasn't sure if this guy would survive the next round. Okay, Dormammu, put him down first. Hearing this, Dormammu froze for a moment. He glared at Loki bitterly, but he could only respond with a muffled voice, and put him down honestly. Call, back on the ground again. Loki felt much more at ease in his heart, and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. However, he glanced at the terrifying figure next to him. The terrifying look in his eyes made his scalp tingle even more. He hurriedly moved his steps and found a place far away, which relieved him a lot. Turning his head and looking over, he still had some lingering fears. Supreme Mage, when will there be another magic place like this? Scary monster, however, he dared not say this. I'm afraid I will be offended again and cause trouble to come to my door. After you left last time, Russell squinted and smiled. He is the gatekeeper of Kamar Taj, the Asgardian of the magical holy place. Just to prevent intruders like you from existing. Co-author, I was targeted. No wonder, he was dragged out without even entering the gate. However, what is his name? Is there anything to do with that horrible Mephista? Loki looked over questioningly. However, Russell was not interested in answering his question. Looking at Loki who was speechless in front of him, he asked with interest. Loki. Why are you here? Don't you know the relationship between the magic holy place and Asgard? Throw yourself into a trap. Why hearing this, Loki looked a little embarrassed for a while. However, after hesitation for a while, he still bit the bullet and said cautiously. Would you believe me if I said it was a misunderstanding? Letter. Russell nodded pretendingly, with a teasing tone. Maybe you're just going the wrong way. The universe is so big, where can't we go? But it happened to find the earth? And come to the magic holy place? Among them, I'm afraid there are ghosts. Hearing this, the smile on Loki's face became more and more awkward. MMP, if you tell the truth, you won't believe it. There are so many secret passages in Asgard, and when there is no way out, 
who can control so many? Who knows, why did he come to this ghost place? Moreover, as soon as it comes out, it will be in the magical holy place. Thinking, I felt a little tired. However, looking at the supreme mage with a brighter smile in front of him, Loki couldn't help feeling a little nervous. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration flashed in his mind, and he thought of a good idea. Extreme mage, what do you think of me adding the magic holy place? Join the magic holy place? What kind of whimsical idea is this? I'm afraid it wasn't Odin who came to meet with a gun. However, after thinking about it, Russell also felt a little indifferent. Anyway, Odin also had such a proposal back then. After a short pause, he nodded his head and fully agreed. Good. Just right, I can popularize some side knowledge to these mages. One escape trick every day, install it. New York. Trident building. Inside shield a heated conversation is going on. However, the more they listened, the more uncomfortable the feelings of the people present became. And his face became even more weird, after a long silence. Nick Fury raised his head and said in a dumbfounded way. You mean, you think Tesseract is too dangerous for us? So, your daughter-in-law put it somewhere else? Yes. Carol nodded firmly, this is not something that should be left on Earth. Sooner or later it invites disaster, she had a vague premonition in her heart. It seems to be able to see the crisis caused by this thing. Heard the words. The members of S.H.I.E.L.D. immediately looked at each other in dismay. On the face, some are not very good looking. And Nick Fury couldn't help frowning. This thing, since Carol left, it has always been under the control of S.H.I.E.L.D. He even secretly used this thing to conduct some research. By the way, let's see if we can use the huge energy in it to carry out some plans. Result. This Carol is good. I will take this thing back in the morning? The plan in my heart is so bankrupt. Nick Fury felt a little dissatisfied and secretly angry. Similarly, I was also a little uneasy and frightened. If someone else were to talk to him like this. He kicked her out a long time ago, however. The one standing in front of me is Ms. Marvel. The initiator of a series of huge plans in his heart. He couldn't help but not pay attention to it in his heart. However, he was still a little unwilling in his heart. This thing has not been researched yet. As a result, should it be handed over directly like this? I think we have the ability to take care of the Tesseract, Nick Fury insisted. Besides, it doesn't belong to you alone now. It belongs to all mankind. Hearing this, Carol suddenly smiled. Don't you think that keeping this thing in your hands doesn't cause enough things? Still, you think you can resist the Kree fleet? Kree. Hearing this, Nick Fury's face darkened suddenly, and then became darker and brighter. He is naturally no stranger to this name. At the time, he was also a member of the team helping the Skrulls deal with the Kree War. In the same way, I also witnessed the birth of this amazing lady in front of me. However, he couldn't help but feel a little puzzled. Why did you bring this up suddenly? Could it be that? Yes, as you have in mind. Carol glanced at him, then nodded affirmatively. The Kree Empire has revived, and it's making another big move. Although I don't know what their goal is, but there are some things that have to be guarded against. For the existence of Tesseract, the Kerry Empire has long been clear. If it wasn't for the sudden appearance of her, the spoiler. Perhaps this thing has already fallen into their hands. I believe that if she has not been active in the Interstellar, she has a strong enough deterrent. The fleet of the Kree probably came to Earth to release firework long ago. However, the actions of the Kree are unknown. Carol received no further information. However, thinking of this, she couldn't help but think of the existence of a certain person. If this guy Ronan was still around, I definitely can't help but provoke me in the chat group. By then, I'm afraid I'll know more, but now, everything is a bit late. Pity. If only Ronan had been spared in the first place. I'm afraid, there are not so many troubles now. Carry Empire. Hearing this, Nick Fury's complexion suddenly became more and more ugly. He has dealt with them. Naturally, it is also clear that the ability between the two is not in the same order of magnitude. The technology tree on Earth is simply incomparable with them. It is simply vulnerable. If the Kree really enter the Earth, the consequences. Thinking of this, he felt a little shuddering in his heart. After pondering for a while, he looked up firmly, as if he had made up his mind. In this case, then Tesseract, I'd better leave it to you. Don't blame him for being cowardly, it's really the gap between the enemy and us. With the current Earth technology, he doesn't have much confidence at all. 
Is it necessary to use the equivalent of their nuclear bombs to measure the muzzle of the enemy fleet? Or is it counting on Carol to show his power again and survive the crisis of the Earth? Doing so is simply too dangerous, in his heart he disagreed. However, he still had some doubts in his heart, and he couldn't vomit. Where are you going to take this thing? Far from Earth. Hearing this, Carol suddenly smiled, with a satisfied smile on his face. No, there is no need for this, it will still be left on the Earth, but it is in the hands of another person. Another person. Hearing this, Nick Fury's heart suddenly jumped, as if thinking of something. Could it be that? Supreme Mage, Carol said quickly, saying the name first. I think it's the safest thing to keep in his hands. After all, you should know his strength, that's right. But why do I feel this is weird? Free. You are betraying the organization, do you know that? Kamar Taj. Inside the magic holy place. Russell was full of surprise, looking at Carol who came suddenly, he couldn't believe his ears. You mean, you want to give the Tesseract to me for safekeeping? Tesseract? Isn't this the space gem? Are you sure this isn't a joke? He only heard that someone tried their best to find and rob, infinite gems. But I have never heard that this thing can be sent by other people. And, what's more, it's the kind of home delivery. Can you believe it? Yes. Carol added with a serious expression on her face. The Kree Empire has become active again recently, so I'm a little worried. Hearing this, Russell was suddenly speechless. What is this? Beat a snake and get bitten by a snake. Eliminate evil? But, are you sure those Kree dare to come to Earth? Isn't the lesson of this Ant Marvel not enough for them? But, whatever. This is definitely a good thing for Russell. It can even be said that this is a big surprise. It was like a pie fell from the sky, he never thought that such a good thing would happen. People sit at home, Bao Shi Tian comes up. Even if the community sends warmth, it's not that simple after all, right? Carol's operation made him somewhat at a loss as to what to say. It can only be said that the Kree Empire God assists. I'm afraid they would never have dreamed of it. Because of their series of actions, the tesseract of their dreams will be given away. The difficulty of obtaining it has doubled again. As for how Nick Fury feels, anyway, his face was dark enough. Not afraid to go a little darker again. Okay, then leave it to me for safekeeping. Russell reluctantly shouldered the burden. And, patted his chest to assure. However, the bright smile on his face betrayed him a bit. Anyway, he already has a time gem in his hand. As the saying goes, if you have too much debt, you will not be burdened. If there is any trouble, it will come to you sooner or later. Instead, take this opportunity to strengthen your own strength. It just so happens that I feel like my space magic has entered a bottleneck period. It was mainly because of the distance from the portal, which made him feel a little distressed. Not to mention going around the universe twice. Even going to Asgard, it seems a little fishy. But now, with this space gem, it should be easy to solve. As in infinite gems, the greatest ability of space gems does not lie in the huge energy contained in it. More importantly, it is able to open space at will and connect to other dimensions of ability. This is its spatial nature. Again, exactly what Russell wanted to dig deeper into. Soon. Carol flipped her hands, and Tesseract appeared in her hands. These are some of the gadgets she got while wandering the stars. The product of space folding technology. Dazzling blue radiance is dazzling. The light is bright, like a bright lamp, illuminating the whole holy place. Surging energy, like a halo, surrounds it, spitting. This is Tesseract, and more importantly, the space gem hidden in it. However, Carol didn't care too much about the existence of this thing. After shrugging his shoulders, he immediately handed it over and said with a smile. You once said that one of the duties of Supreme Mage is to protect the existence of Time Gem. And now, you have another responsibility, duty? Hearing this, Russell immediately laughed. The smile on his face was brilliant. I don't mind having a few more for such a responsibility. Take Tesseract by the way. Russell felt a little anxious. Some can't wait to study this. However, looking away at Carol in front of him, he had no choice but to temporarily suppress this thought in his heart. After all, doing things in front of the original owner. After all, something is not good, there is a feeling of NTR. Then, I will leave the Tesseract to you. Carol glanced at him and sighed. It's time for me to prepare to leave Earth. Perhaps, when we meet again, I don't know when we will have to wait. Leaving Earth? Russell was suddenly surprised. 
Don't you still want to go back to the universe and fight against the Carry Empire? Yes. Carol nodded seriously. This is my mission, I must stop this war. Although, it's not known exactly what the Kree Empire wants to do. However, what they want to do is definitely war. But soon, the subject changed, and she continued. However, in this last time, I want to see each other. Hearing this, Russell didn't know what to say for a while. Sometimes, the sense of justice is overwhelming, but there are too many troubles. How can he be like him, basking in the sun and studying magic? Even if you're bored, you can have fun with Loki and Dormammu. However, before going to Asgard. Okay. Russell sighed after thinking about it, and reluctantly agreed. In this case, as a thank you, I will grant your last wish. It just so happens that I also return her a favor. It can be regarded as a congratulatory gift for sending Space Gem to your door. Definitely, the more important reason is that he also needs to go to Asgard. Questions about Bifrost, still need to find some suitable candidates from Odin. Hearing this, Carol couldn't help giving him a blank look. The last wish. This is the same as what she is going to do. I don't know, maybe I thought she was going to die? However, Russell's nod made her a little overjoyed. A smile could not help appearing on the stern face. In that case, let's go, I can't wait to see him. Gearing up, eager to try. Looking at her like this, I'm afraid she will be willing to tear down the Golden Hall. However, Russell couldn't be bothered to care too much. He is not a savior. What Thor messed up, Odin ended up wiping his ass, he didn't care. However, at this moment, in his mind, a long lost reminder sounded, making him froze in place. Rolling his eyes at Carol, who was eager to try, Russell said with a serious face, Etc. I'm afraid we have more important things to do now. Scovia. A city in Europe. There is a lot of traffic, and the crowd is constantly flowing. A scene of prosperity, and in the mirror space. Two figures are walking slowly. The light colored phantoms around passed by, as if there was no obstacle. Walking on the road, looking at the dense flow of people in front of him, Carol couldn't help frowning. Turning his head, he asked with some doubts, What are we doing here? She couldn't figure out what Russell was thinking. Obviously, it has been agreed to go to Asgard. In the end, she was brought to this place again. Is there something wrong with this city? Not really. Russell smiled and shook his head. This is my private business. If it wasn't for fear of going to Asgard, it would take a lot of time. He definitely won't take Big Mom with him, because, the purpose of his trip here is to System check in. The long lost system sign in task forced him to temporarily delay his pace. However, after following the system sign in location and coming here, he felt a little puzzled. In it, is there any character worth signing? Unfamiliar city. It is remote, far away from New York, which is the center of the earth. He couldn't think of any important people here. Soon. As they walked forward, the figures of the two came to the downstairs of a resident. Whitewashed walls can't hide the fact that it's dilapidated. This is an old residential building that can no longer be old. Even, it is completely on the verge of collapse. This is the ghetto. Russell sharpened the gap to the point. Unknowingly, they have crossed the bustling city. Came to the dark corners that are indispensable in any city. However, this made him feel even more puzzled. Which plot character is it that will be so depressed? They all live in this kind of place. There is no need to say much about being poor. Compared with the previous few people who had too much money to spend. It's pathetic. But soon. Go through the doors and come to the sign in place. He knew immediately who he really was. To be precise, it should be them. This is a pair of brothers and sisters. Just from their conspicuous hair color, Russell could easily identify their identities. For a moment, I was a little surprised. It turned out to be them. Scarlet Witch Wanda, and Quicksilver Pete Jar. No wonder no wonder you're in a place like this. It is normal for them to be in a bad situation as war orphans. What's more, the two don't have awakenings respective abilities yet. Only brother and sister who live together as common people. System. Start signing in, Russell thought to himself. On the other side, Carol couldn't help frowning as he looked at the scene in front of him. They. Do they live on these foods? What she was talking about was the scattered food on the table, bread or something. She also tried these things herself. The taste is not good, even difficult to swallow. Matching the scenes she saw along the way, she couldn't help but feel pity in her heart. It made me think of those displaced interstellar refugees. It's almost the same. Russell couldn't help but sighed. In fact, they are also war orphans. Hearing this, 
Carol was taken aback for a moment. Immediately afterwards, there was even more pity in his eyes. You came here just for these two children? As she spoke, she looked over suspiciously. Could it be that you want to adopt them? Can you stop being so maddened by the heart of the Virgin? If it is really called a couple to adopt a couple, I am afraid that the magic holy place will not be able to hold it. Russell felt a little tired all of a sudden. He originally thought that after completing the system's sign in task, give the siblings some help and get out of this place. Who would have thought that the words of this amazing aunt just drove him to a dead end? It seems that if the brothers and sisters are not settled well, I'm afraid it won't work. The glorious image created with great difficulty cannot be shattered like this. He is also counting on this amazing aunt to send him a few more gems. Only. Gathering his mind, he looked at the two brothers and sisters who were still a little young. Russell stroked his chin, thinking about the question. It seems that. This proposal is also very good. Although these two people are temporarily a soy sauce bottle like character. However, it is still a potential stock, especially Scarlet Witch Wanda. The origin magic power hidden in the body. Infinite gems in human form is no exaggeration. Simply terrible. Besides, the role of soy sauce in the magic holy place. Except for him, everyone is making soy sauce now, okay? Not bad for these two, after thinking about it. Soon, Russell identified his inner thoughts. Turning his head, he said with a smile. Yes, I just want to adopt them. However, I will leave the work of negotiation to you and finish it, Carol. He tossed the pot away. After finishing speaking, he gave her an encouraging look and let her experience it by herself. Explaining something to the common people, Russell is too lazy to waste any more words, okay. I thought she would refuse, it's just that Russell was a little unexpected. After shrugging, Carol readily agreed, okay, I'll negotiate. As he said that, he turned his head and gave him a sideways look, full of contempt. Isn't that just adopting refugees? I don't know how many times I have done this kind of thing in the universe. Oh, it turned out to be an experienced old comrade. That's all right. Kamar Taj, inside the holy place. Russell sat cross legged on the head seat, making tea and water. Supreme Mage's traditional performing arts, once he dismissed it. However, now, after all, he is living like an old man. And below. The two brothers and sisters who had just arrived looked at each other in dismay. In my heart, I was uneasy. It's like people suddenly come to a strange environment. There will always be an instinctive feeling of incompatibility. Not to mention, what they are now is a magic holy place. Usually, what exists in their fantasies? This feeling. It's like dreaming. Pietro couldn't help muttering to himself. Looking at the surrounding retro style buildings, everything is so strange. If you don't witness it with your own eyes, who would believe that magic is real? Moreover, at this moment, she is still so close to him. Really, it's incredible. Beside, Wanda nodded in agreement, with an expression of disbelief on her face. With burning eyes, he looked upwards, where the supreme mage was. There seemed to be a strange light flickering in his eyes. I just don't know if we have a chance to touch magic. By the time. Their performance is quite calm. Seeing the reaction of the brothers and sisters, Russell immediately smiled with satisfaction. At least, compared to other people, it's considered good. However, it has something to do with their life experiences. After all, they are war woo. Much more mature than many people. Hearing this, Carol nodded immediately. Turning his head, he looked pitifully at the brothers and sisters who were looking around curiously. How are you going to house them? Let them stay in this place and be a mage. That's right. Russell nodded affirmatively. These words hit his heart. These two brothers and sisters. Among other things, Wanda is definitely a good candidate for learning magic. After all, the chaos law in her body. Anyway, it has a magic name. At least in terms of magical ability, it is many times stronger than the common people. And, the power of magic. Maybe it just happens to be able to activate the latent power in the bodies of the two brothers and sisters. At that time, it will not be as simple as one plus one. And beside. Hear this, Modu, who was not squinting at first and had his hands on his back, couldn't calm down for a while. The thoughts in my heart are instantly messed up. He also thought that Supreme Mage called him here because of something. As a result, that's it? Do you want me to guide newcomers again? This matter was nothing at all. However, what made him feel pained? Even if I think about it with my ass, I know it. These two were brought back by Supreme Mage himself, they are definitely magic geniuses. 
otherwise, why bring them back? Thinking of this, Modu suddenly felt like crying. He managed to step out of the shadow of Tony's genius halo. As a result, he will be attacked again? This is simply a little suspicious, okay? Really. With Russell's words, the guess in his heart came true directly. Became a reality. Modu mage, these two will also be handed over to you. I believe that in the whole Kamar Taj, you are definitely the most experienced mage in teaching. Russell spoke earnestly. At the same time, he patted his shoulder encouragingly. Those who are capable will work harder, and I will trouble you to take up this burden again. When they grow up in the future, they will definitely thank you. This is so. It is said that those who can do more work, why must it be me? Modu's mentality suddenly exploded. He seemed to be able to hear the broken voice in his body. No matter how big the heart is, under the blows of various geniuses in turn. Huge amounts of drop is enough to make him feel collapsed. What's more, there is a difference when there is a comparison. In comparison, the more he looks at himself, the more trash he looks. It's just that I noticed the profound eyes of Supreme Mage. For a moment, he could only reluctantly agree with tears in his eyes. Respectfully, yes, Supreme Master. Hearing this, Russell immediately nodded in relief. Modu Mage is still responsible as always, however, he turned his head and glanced at the two brothers and sisters who were excited by this. Suddenly, something seemed to come to mind. It seems that something has been forgotten. Correct. Russell suddenly remembered this incident. The hatred in the hearts of these two brothers and sisters. And the object of hatred is G. If this matter is not handled well, I'm afraid there will be some big troubles again. Russell has a headache about this problem. After all, these two are not common people, someone who can be solved with a single peanut. Forget it. Let that guy Tony come back first. Without further ado, if the brothers and sisters found out later that they were actually living together with their enemies. In that case, I am afraid it will be even more uncontrollable. Even his supreme mage will be affected. Thinking of this, Russell immediately took action. Under the astonished eyes of several people, suddenly, the vortex of gold appears. Soon, Tony's figure appeared on the other end. Tony, come here and explain things to me, inside the magic holy place. Tony was dumbfounded. I looked around in a daze, a little at a loss. He was doing well, but he was suddenly pulled here by a hand. Moreover, there are so many strangers, have no idea what the hell is going on. And even more confused, it was Doctor Strange who was also dragged here along with him, that is, the future Doctor Strange. Originally, he was visited by Tony. Listening to his narration, the expression of MMP is all over his face. He is a good surgeon, advocating science. In the end, what the hell are you telling me that magic is real? If it was someone else, he would have kicked him out a long time ago. Anyway, Tony Stark's name is loud enough to make him listen to it. However, when he came here, he suddenly collapsed even more. It turns out that Tony Stark didn't lie to me, this horse is really magical. In a short time, the three views are completely destroyed. Doctor Strange felt dizzy. In my heart, there are mixed feelings, some complicated emotions that I don't know how to describe. Exalted mage, this is, seeing another stranger appeared, Modu's heart skipped a beat. Can't help but have an ominous premonition, could it be? Um? Russell looked back and smiled back. He blinked and gave him a look full of deep meaning to understand himself. You know. Understood. Do you still think my hair is not falling out fast enough? I see you want me to die. Next, though. Seeing the two people who suddenly appeared, Carol suddenly frowned. What are you doing? Hearing this, Russell immediately smiled and didn't say much. Look at it and you'll know. The siblings. Ever since Tony appeared, his gaze has been fixed on the past. Thoughts of hatred filled the cerebral cortex. The cold and piercing gaze, as if pierced by two needles. Perceived this. Tony couldn't help frowning suddenly. Touching the back of his head, he felt a little inexplicable. What do you mean by looking at me like that? Could it be that I have offended you somewhere? He admits. My own mouth is really not very flattering. Even, most of the people who have dealt with him have been beaten by him. However, he can be sure. I've never seen these two before. Tony Stark. The siblings said the name through gritted teeth. That hateful gaze was so sharp that it seemed to kill him. I believe that if there were no other people here, they would have rushed up to fight him. Glancing at the figures above, the brothers and sisters finally calmed down a lot. Tell all of this. You killed my family, weapons from Stark Industries. 
After listening, Tony was even more taken aback. This is so. What kind of weird logic is this? All right, I've become a backer again. If you want revenge, shouldn't you go to the terrorist who fired the missile? I'm an arms dealer, why should I take the blame? This kind of thing. Like someone killing someone with a knife. As a result, do not seek revenge on the murderer. Instead, I found a manufacturer of knives. This. Quite puzzling. This. Carol was stupefied when he heard that. This strange brain circuit. They're blinded by hatred, Russell sighed. It is estimated that they really can't find a suitable target for revenge. After all, who knows which missile was fired towards them. However, as war orphans, they need a belief in revenge to support them to survive. And it just so happens that Tony is a guy who shows off the limelight in the newspapers every day, so he is hated by them. The idea was deeply rooted when I was a child, and I guess they don't know where the hatred came from now. Hearing this, Carol couldn't help twitching the corners of his mouth. This reason. Come to think of it, pretty f asterisk ked up. But it's not impossible, there is no love and hate for no reason. If you want to blame, you can only blame Tony for being too pushy. This is what people will remember. Tony. I'm breaking apart. These are two problem children. Russell said, looked over, squinted and smiled. So, Carol, the task of enlightening them is up to you. They need some education. Hearing this, Carol was stunned. The thing about going to Asgard, it can only be postponed temporarily, Russell shrugged. Or, you want to watch them sink into hatred. Hearing this, Carol suddenly sighed deeply. He just nodded and agreed. Tell her to just sit back and watch, she really can't do it. However, she felt something was wrong. Is this being kidnapped by morality? Ignored her eyes. Russell turned his head and looked the other way. This Doctor Strange. Mage. I understand. Modu nodded expressionlessly. He knew the result a long time ago, and he is completely used to it. Isn't it just another stimulus? What's so great about it? I am so quick acting heart rescuing pills enough. Hearing this, Russell immediately nodded in satisfaction. He turned his head and looked to the other side, the open space. Said with a gloomy gaze, should have seen enough? If you've seen enough, come out, Loki. After everyone left. Not long. Loki's figure quietly appeared in the holy place. Looking at the expressionless figure above, he could only smile embarrassingly. Supreme mage, no offense intended. I may be in the wrong place. Hearing this, Russell couldn't help but roll his eyes. Still in the wrong place. I think you came here on purpose to get the secrets. I like to wander around incognito when I have nothing to do. Do you take it seriously when I tell you that it is like being at home? It's not the same thing if it goes on like this, Russell stroked his chin in thought. Despite Loki's presence, right under his nose, put an end to the possibility of him making trouble. However, under the guidance of this guy, he felt that something was wrong with the atmosphere of the whole magic holy place. Be careful all day, beware of peeping people around. From time to time, I feel like a pair of eyes are staring at me. Creepy. If things go on like this, the magic holy place will be misled by him. Russell couldn't help feeling in his heart. Think about it. Suddenly, my heart moved. He suddenly had an idea in his mind. Looking at the cautious Loki below, a smile appeared on his face. Loki, how do you feel about staying in the magical holy place? Hearing this, Loki frowned suddenly. I quietly observed his expression, but I couldn't see anything at all. Ever since, the brow stretched. Pretending to be excited, he replied insincerely. Good. It's so good. Even Asgard can't compare to this place. Talk to people. Talk to ghosts. Hearing this, Russell couldn't help shaking his head immediately, and sighed deeply. The magic holy place is good, but I feel like it's a waste of your ability. Waste my ability? Loki was confused for a moment. He touched the back of his head, extremely puzzled. What ability do I have? Why don't I know it myself? However, Russell's words did not lie. Glancing at him, he continued. Your journey should be in the sea of stars, not on this small earth. Tiny earth hearing this in his heart, Loki felt a sneer in his heart. Who dares to look down on the earth these days? There are hidden dragons and crouching tigers here, I'm afraid they are looking for death. But soon, his mind came to another question. Frowning, he felt a little puzzled. Exalted mage, you mean to say? The vast universe is where you should go. Russell said in a simple and mysterious way. Huh? You think I don't want to go? 
if it weren't for the helplessness, he was pulled into the magic holy place. I ran away so early to have fun, Loki groaned inwardly. Heads up, though. Looking at the smiling eyes of the supreme mage, he suddenly felt a sudden shock. I can't help but have an ominous premonition. And right away, his premonition came true. I give you permission to leave Earth, Loki. Russell squinted and smiled broadly. And, it can also help you get rid of Odin's pursuit. But correspondingly, you have to do one thing for me. What's the matter? Loki's feeling of foreboding grows stronger. Looking at the past, he became more and more puzzled. Nothing to show gallantry, either rape or steal. Supreme Mage, will he leave the Earth so easily? Moreover, he also helped him intercede with Odin. It's so unreasonable. Really. The next words immediately fulfilled the conjecture in his heart. Moreover, it directly made him tremble with fright. I almost slumped to the ground without my buttocks. I need you to go to that Thanos side and monitor his every move. Hearing this, Loki's eyes widened immediately. Immediately afterwards, his complexion changed, and his whole body was filled with excitement. Who was Thanos? Thanos, the famous destroyer, the tyrant. I'm so. I really want to lift your skull and see what's inside your brain. I have reason to suspect that you really want me to die. Looking at the figure above, Lu Ji gritted his teeth suddenly. In my heart, it hurts even more. What the hell, just hearing the name. He couldn't help his scalp tingling. Not to mention, to monitor his every move. I can't do this undercover job. Supreme Mage, can you change the condition? Loki asked tentatively with a face full of palpitations. Otherwise, I'd better stay in the magic holy place. Even if you have to be beaten by Dormammu every now and then. Anyway, there is no danger to life. No. Russell shook his head and refused. You are a natural performing artist. The magical holy place is a waste of your ability. Such a clever little ghost, it would be a pity not to be an undercover agent. Coincidentally, he also wanted to pay attention to Mie's movements. It's simply a do-everything thing. Hearing this, Loki suddenly felt like crying. With a mournful face, full of unlovely expressions. Supreme Mage, I, Loki, are absolutely loyal to the magic holy place. I know. That's why I sent you there. In terms of undercover acting skills, you think it's top notch. Believe in yourself, Loki, finished, he reached out and opened the portal. Can't help but throw him indirectly. Finally, something was thrown in together. If you are not dead, remember to contact me. X. W D N M D. So you F asterisk king know that I might die. Everything returned to calm. As for Loki's arrangement, it was just a whim of Russell's. Being able to get rid of the interference of this little clever ghost. At the same time, it can display its maximum value. Let him shine where he should be. As for the question of whether this undercover agent will betray. If he's that honest, can he still be Loki? However, contrast. Russell didn't really care too much as long as he can play the role of being a shit-stirrer. Everything else is trivial. Soon. Shaking his head, Russell temporarily abandoned the messy thoughts in his heart. My mind is on something else, system sign in rewards. A small universe, or rather, the extra dimension hidden inside the body. In a void, filled with the breath of death, there is no sign of any life. Like the dark spaces of Dormammu, huge, deep and fascinating darkness is covered. Even even more infiltrating than that. Inside the body, a steady stream of constantly power surged. As if it were endless, it directly covered the magic power accumulated in his body. Russell couldn't help but be amazed. The system's reward this time took him by surprise. Not too pulled down. Rather, it is a bit unreasonable. It even surprised him a little bit. In some ways, I should be a dimensional Mephista now. Alternative Dimension Lord. Only. The territory he owns is a complete universe. Although, it is still in the budding stage, but in essence. It is already more than one step higher than those dimension lords. After all, just grow up, it is very likely that there is another world inside. A universe with unlimited potential for development. Unlike the existence of other dimensions, it can only increase its own development potential by devouring other dimensions. And, by comparison, for the existence of other dimensions, the nature of power is too single. The existence of this small universe allows him to easily decipher it. Instead of using magic to analyze its essence as before, it is ambiguous. At that time, wouldn't it be a very simple matter to beat Dormammu, Mo Faith, etc.? However, the premise of all this, 
The first thing is to let this small universe develop. Even if it has entered the stage where it can operate on its own. I'm afraid it's still not enough, without him, because it is too slow. Wait for it to expand and grow spontaneously. I'm afraid, I don't know that it will take until the year of the monkey to reach the level Russell expected. Thinking of this, Russell couldn't help showing a strange expression on his face. It seems that I have to make a guest appearance on the planet to devour it. Through the existence of the real world, it also feeds the growth of the small universe. The existence of the planet will intensify its evolution process. If it is more cruel, it will even swallow the entire universe. This operation. Well, if you think about it carefully, you will be beaten to death. However, it only swallowed a few planets, probably not a big deal. Anyway, isn't there still an Uncle Tun? After all, the old back to back man. Wanian background board. This day, inside the holy place. Russell was sitting cross legged on the head seat, thinking hard. In front of him, a piece of golden light was shining brightly. The densely packed planets are transformed into light spots, all over it. This is a huge amount of star map. In the universe, the scenes of most of the planets are covered. This is from Carol. Picking a suitable planet as a target. However, at the moment, outside the holy place, footsteps came. Soon, Rideo's figure walked in. Russell waved his hand and dispersed the magic image. Looking at the figure in front of him, he smiled and said. Is there something wrong, Wanda? Hearing this, Wanda raised her head timidly. With eyes full of curiosity, he said cautiously. Extreme mage, Tony Stark said, sold weapons to terrorists, someone else killed my parents. He said, if you don't believe it, you can come to you to find the answer. Hearing this, Russell was suddenly speechless. Are you still dwelling on this issue? What about Carol? This ideological education is not enough. There is no definite statement of who is at fault for this matter. But, among other things, Wang Chi's ability to shake the pot has improved a lot. Just throw this troublesome thing on his head again. Soon, he shook his head and let go of the thoughts in his mind. Seeing the timid Wanda in front of him, Russell couldn't help but smile. I know a little bit about this matter. Tony is a guy with a sharp tongue, but he loves cover models. However, arms were never sold to terrorists. It should be Obedestine who really killed your parents. However, even if I say it, I'm afraid you won't believe it. Then let you witness the truth with your own eyes. The voice just fell. Emerald green light shone, covering the entire hall. Numerous images appear around like phantoms. The torrent of time flies by. Like a movie rewinding, it continues to spread backwards. Witnessing this miraculous scene with his own eyes immediately made Wang stunned in place. He was stunned, a little dazed. After a while, the picture freezes at a certain moment. Russell's voice came faintly. That's what happened in the past. The answer you want to know is right here, Asgard. Inside the Golden Hall. Huge amounts of atop the throne. The majestic soldiers lined up on both sides. Odin held the gun of eternity, watching the scene below. I'm having a headache. We must teach these frost titans a hard lesson, and let them know that Asgard is not easy to mess with. So, it's better to wipe out these frost titans directly. Good idea. Just take Jotunheim directly. Occupy a fart. Who wants to live in that kind of ghost place? I propose to bring Thor back first. Damn, what kind of broken ideas? How dare you bring Thor back? If it weren't for the wrong occasion, I'd like to give you a shot first before talking about it. As he listened, Odin suddenly felt more and more headache. I couldn't help rubbing between my brows, feeling a little sad in my heart. He couldn't figure it out. Why do these people only think of the word war? Could it be that their brain structure is the same as that idiot Thor? Are they all masters of one muscle? At this moment. Suddenly. A gold vortex appeared in front of him. Suddenly, the noise on the scene stagnated. Everyone immediately became vigilant. However, the moment the figure inside came out, they couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. It turned out to be the supreme mage of Midgard. Come. It was Russell. I saw the figure appear. A smile suddenly appeared on Odin's old face. Supreme mage, why are you here when you have time? However, let's talk about the source. Immediately, another figure came out from inside. The moment he saw that figure, the smile on his face suddenly stagnated and became extremely stiff. This is so. Ms. Marvel Carol. How did she come with her? The scene froze immediately. For a while, it seemed embarrassing. See this scenario. 
The people who were discussing also noticed that the atmosphere was not right. Cautiously exited the hall. The silence continues. Quietly. An astonishing aura filled the entire palace. It's as suffocating as the calm before the storm. Finally. Stared at by Carol's unkind eyes. No matter how thick-skinned Odin is, he can't take it anymore. A kind smile reappeared on the old face, pretending to ask casually. Ms. Carol. Why are you here when you are free? Hearing this, Carol couldn't help raising his eyebrows immediately, and asked. Why did I come here, isn't it clear enough in your heart? This is really not giving face at all. Pretending to be inadvertent, Odin quietly looked to the side and blinked a few times. Why did she come with you? Sensing his gaze, Russell immediately understood. I didn't expect Odin to play this trick. Encrypted communication in legendary, eye contact? Unfortunately, he happened to have learned this trick too. Immediately, he returned a gesture with his eyes. Do you believe me when I said that she followed me quietly? What about liars? Then it's all right. Why ask when you know the truth? But don't worry, she promised that she will never beat you to death. What the hell is this supreme mage doing? After some eye contact, Odin felt that his IQ had been insulted. But soon, I looked at Carol who was cold-eyed. He could only smile wryly, shook his head, and sighed. It's not that I don't want to help you. Instead, Asgard's current situation is not very good. It was a mess because of Thor. Now, even if Loki is gone, he's left me with a lot of mess. The frost titans of Jotunheim are about to move. Hey, internal and external troubles. After speaking, Odin's face seemed to have aged a lot again. However, Carol is clearly not into his style. He cast a disdainful glance at him. Immediately afterwards, he snorted coldly. What if I would help you? Will you help me? Hearing this, Odin was stunned. His eyes turned aside unconsciously. This script. Is there something wrong? Russell pouted suddenly. Don't ask me, I don't know either. However, Carol's words were not finished. Somewhat suspiciously, they glanced at the two who were communicating encrypted. Left and right didn't see anything, so they continued. Just like the contract signed between the Supreme Mage and you. I can help you protect Asgard. And correspondingly, you need to help me fight against the Kree Empire. What do you think of this condition? This. Hearing this, Odin was a little surprised. What you said is true. Surprised, but also somewhat unbelievable. If only with Carol's guarantee. Then, he will have nothing to worry about anymore. This strong man who is not inferior to him definitely has the ability to protect Asgard. Until his useless son Thor grows up. Hearing this, Carol pouted immediately. Definitely true. Can I still joke with you? If you don't believe it, then sign the contract. Surprise. Absolutely big surprise. Odin was immediately overjoyed. Isn't it just a Kree empire? If he wasn't worried that he would be unable to continue, he wouldn't have pulled Thor back with a cheeky face. Well now, everything is perfectly resolved. Having Carol as the Asgardian of Asgard is absolutely fitting. Thinking of this, Han Ding's mind suddenly became active. Take this opportunity to show other people the power of Asgard. At the same time, it can also let these war fanatics vent their excess energy. Still, think about it, he found something wrong again. Why would the Ms. Marvel have such an offer? Could it be that there is something hidden in this? There is a faint illusion of falling into a pit. However, after thinking about it, he didn't find anything wrong. Soon, he changed his mind and thought about another question. Why, it's also a contract. Carol became an Asgardian in Asgard. And the Supreme Mage only promised the Asgardians to guarantee their safety on Earth? Thinking of this, Odin suddenly frowned and looked over. Am I losing out on the contract I signed with you? It's not just a loss, it's a big loss. If he had known that Carol was so proactive, he might as well have signed a contract with her directly. At any rate, we can keep the land of Asgard. And Russell was not to be outdone, and rolled his eyes back. No, you have nothing to lose. My current status is completely different. Jotunheim. Loki's old home. Covered with snow and frost. The howling cold wind was extremely bitter. Thick dark clouds seemed to cover the entire sky. No matter how bright the sun is, it seems that it cannot penetrate. At the moment, a rainbow of light spanned the sky. Break through the thick clouds and come straight. Instantly illuminate the land of ice. Immediately. Two figures appeared in place. A sharp cold wind blows past, icy cold through the body. Looking at the surrounding scene, the corners of Russell's mouth could not help but twitch. This frost titan's hometown is desolate enough. 
It was much more miserable than what he knew. Looking around, I didn't see any sign of living things. The severe cold will drown everything. It was hard for him to imagine how these frost titans survived here. Is it by eating ice scum? No wonder these frost titans want to rebel and attack Asgard. Whoever puts up a stall like this will probably not be able to stand it. It's also a frost titan. If it were any other species, it would have been extinct here long ago. Carol couldn't help but be amazed at this. What an amazing species. Even if she has been in the universe for so many years. I have never seen such a race. This harsh living environment alone is enough to drive many species to extinction. Not to mention, it will continue to thrive. Amazing. Russell couldn't help but speak when he heard that. There's something even more amazing. Jotunheim is the frost world, and among the nine realms, there is also the world of flames, Moose Belheim. Hearing this, Carol was a little speechless. What a mess. Except for Asgard and Earth, there is no normal point. No wonder it is missed every day. Out of the corner of his eye, he flicked. The fierce cold wind is still there. Carol couldn't help frowning. These frost titans, why haven't they appeared yet? Didn't they find us? Such a dazzling bifrost. It's like breaking through the darkness with light. It's almost like putting the light on their faces. Don't these frost titans feel anything? Really a bunch of blind people? No, Russell squinted and smiled. His eyes unconsciously flicked to a certain corner. They're playing dead. There is still a trace of luck in my heart, pretending not to find us. Did you say so, Lof? The voice just fell. From the corner, a figure came out. The pale blue skin reveals a strange feeling. All over his body, he could clearly see the ice blue blood flowing inside. The eye sockets are deeply sunken, and the sunken eyeballs look a little extravagant. Holding the frost blade, Lof looked at the figures of the two and spoke in a deep voice. Outsiders, explain your purpose. The words are being spoken. Immediately afterwards, it is the frost titans that are pouring densely from all around. On the cliff, in the crevice of the ice edge. Not long after, the two were surrounded. Condescending, Lof occupies the height advantage, overlooking the figures of the two. This is the territory of the frost titan. This sentence immediately expressed his attitude. He is cowardly. Russell shrugged, turned his head and said. I'm afraid, he wishes we could get out of here now. He is the king of Frost Titan after all. Unlike other people, who are as reckless as stunned. After noticing the astonishing energy reactions on the two of them, they were extremely cautious. Definitely, if it were Odin instead, then they must have rushed up to fight. On the side, Carol was also a little speechless. He rolled his eyes at the Frost Titan who was cowering around and didn't dare to go forward. For a moment, some didn't know what to do. What should we do now? What is Odin saying to stop this war? But from now on, we have succeeded. Once they stand here, they won't be able to fight at all. Then what do you think after we're gone? Russell couldn't help laughing when he heard this. It's impossible to stay here and mark all the time, right? Thinking too naively, the hatred between the Frost Titans and the Asgardians runs deep. It's simply not something the two of them can solve and the method that can temporarily delay all this. This problem must be solved at the source, source? Hearing this, Carol frowned suddenly. His eyes unconsciously looked at a certain figure. Lof? That's right. Russell nodded in relief. He is the initiator of everything. Without Lof, there wouldn't be so much going on. Hearing this, Carol suddenly smiled wryly and shook his head. Then let's go to war. The voice just fell. Surging energy came out through the body. It was as if a scorching energy flame enveloped her body. Double star mode on, and at the same time. Seeing this, Lof also opened his eyes wide and roared angrily. Kill them. They're Odin's lackeys, the voice just fell. For a moment, as if a signal was on, the overwhelming frost titans surged up one after another. The roar resounded through the sky. See here. Russell shook his head and sighed. Since it's dealing with frost titan, then use this. After finishing speaking, he stretched out his hand to surround the house. Immediately, the figure of the short-tailed stick appeared in his hand. Vedam Wand. Speaking of which, I have never tried this ability before. I just don't know, does the barbecue ice cream titan have any effect? Element control, find out. Jotunheim. In the frosty land, there was darkness. Fiery flames soar into the sky, like a bright light, illuminating the whole sky. Even the thick dark clouds were dyed red. The clouds that look like fire are really beautiful. And under all this brilliance, 
but it is the scream borrowed by countless frost titans. Terrible screams, wailing sounds everywhere. The frosty titans rushing up were all turned into fireballs. The scorching flames couldn't resist even their extremely cold bodies. The blood evaporated, and Bing Blue's body gradually turned red. Like the fire from hell, burn everything up, behold this astonishing scene. The frost titans around were frightened immediately. Holding the ice blade, they looked at each other. Cowardly, afraid to go forward, hateful. Seeing the pillar of fire rising into the sky, scorching the earth, Lof suddenly became more and more angry. While retreating in the gap of the next attack, he asked. You bloody fellows, who are you? Odin's men, when will there be strong men like you? Could it be that Asgard can fight other than Odin? Isn't that the hammer? In the end, why are there two more guys? If it weren't for Bifrost's radiance is too obvious. He might even think it came from somewhere else. You shouldn't start a war against Asgard, Carol said in a cold tone. All these consequences are your own fault. Hearing this, Lao immediately understood. I couldn't help gnashing my teeth, Odin. And Loki. His child picked up by Odin. At this time, he still doesn't know where. I was tricked by Loki. It was agreed to invade Asgard, but I didn't even enter the door, so I'm about to be taken over by someone. Long before Odin woke up and Loki was nowhere to be seen. There was a vague premonition in his heart, just didn't expect it. All of this happened so fast, in my heart, I was furious. Immediately, the hands holding the frosty blade became more and more tightly clenched. In the eyes, the anger is burning fiercely. With angry eyes, he looked straight at the past. Intruder, I will make you pay the price. After finishing speaking, he rushed up directly. Asgard. On Bifrost, the two figures stood side by side. I suddenly felt that agreeing to Odin's conditions was a wrong decision. It's such a bad feeling. Carol's face looked gloomy and sullen. What she said, it's about helping Odin stop the Frost Titan invasion. Frost Titan is in front of them, there is no resistance at all ability. Such a scene, she has also been through a lot in the universe. However, it has never felt like it does now, it's like experiencing a massacre. Suddenly, a sense of guilt arises. Just get used to it, Russell shrugged, his face calm and unaffected. From the beginning, he never thought that Odin would be as simple as it seemed. The image of a good-natured old man. No. He just evolved from Hammer's brash template into an old fox. Advocating peace does not mean that he will not use violence. But this time, under the guise of their hands. Put out the threat of the Frost Titan. This, he had expected when he went to Jotunheim. However, he didn't think of it. These Frost Titans are so brave. I'm afraid, without hundreds of years, they will not be able to recover. Within the small universe, Frost Titan corpses are scattered throughout the void. Densely packed, floating under the icy vacuum. What awaits them will be broken down. As a nutrient, give back to the growth of the entire small universe. It's quite rewarding. Russell couldn't help but sighed inwardly. If it wasn't for the wrong timing, I really want to pull the whole Jotunheim into it. Only. Just think about it. Swallowing a living planet, in terms of his current situation. Total waste. The meteorite rain that spreads throughout the universe will wipe everything away. No matter how tenacious a life is, I'm afraid it won't be able to survive in it. I was thinking about it. Soon, the footsteps of the two came to the Golden Hall. As soon as he entered the door, he heard a faint sigh. Supreme Mage, your methods are too cruel. Odin sees everything they do. For this, it is natural to be heartbroken and reprimanded extremely. So what? You're already happy. Russell retorted with a smile in disbelief. Cough cough. Hearing this, Odin felt a little choked and coughed dryly twice to hide his embarrassment. Hastily explained. How is it possible, how could I be such a person? I'm not, I'm not, don't talk nonsense. What about liars? The crow's feet in the corners of the eyes are almost wrinkled from laughter. Asgard. Inside the Golden Hall, a banquet is being held. On the scene, there was a lot of talk and celebrations. Between toasting and staggering, it was another meal of eating and drinking. Among the crowd, how many figures are there? How is it? Carol, do you think this celebration party for your report is still going along with you? While toasting again, Odin turned his head and asked. After Carol looked around, he raised his eyebrows. Not bad. At least, on this point, Asgard and Earth have the same taste. On the side, Russell couldn't help being speechless when he heard it. 
The taste is the same, but the weight has increased several times. If these Asgardians were placed on Earth, inevitably, he will be awarded the title of wine barrel. Although it seems enthusiastic and bold, however, this style, he really can't appreciate it. Carlo looked around. Immediately, he nodded and agreed with his statement. And soon, she looked to the side. Putting his gaze on Odin, he reminded. Don't forget about the contract. The matter of Frost Titan has been perfectly solved for you. Now, it's your turn. What she said, what Odin said, helped her deal with the Kree Empire. Asgard's crisis has been resolved. At least at the moment, there are no troublesome things. It's Asgard's turn to send troops. Hearing this, the smile on Odin's face suddenly became brighter. It's easy to say. Asgard's army will be in place immediately. I believe these energetic lads can't wait any longer. Speaking of this, he seemed to suddenly think of something again. Turn your head, your eyes shine. May I ask, Carol, do you have a suitable partner? If you take a fancy to any young man from Asgard, I'd be more than happy to help you make a good deal. This suddenly occurred to him. Originally, there is a contract. If you can go one step further at this time, kiss more. Then it couldn't be better. Hearing this, the smile on Carol's face froze for a moment. Turning her head, she looked at him speechlessly. Pull the red line? I'm afraid you're thinking about farting. No, thank you for your kindness. Aside. Russell stroked his chin, feeling that Odin's words were somewhat familiar. It's like, where have I heard of it? Think carefully. Didn't Odin say that when he tempted me to come to Asgard? Only. He was talking about the girls at the time. It's so old. It's playing hooligans again. Russell couldn't help but roll his eyes at him. Beauty tricks won't work, and you want to use beauty tricks? I'm afraid he found the wrong partner. But soon, Russell's heart moved and he remembered something. Because of Carol, I almost forgot the business. Immediately, he turned his head and squinted his eyes. I thought, did you forget something? When did it happen? Hearing this, Odin looked over in surprise. Seeing the expression on his face, my heart skipped a beat. This supreme mage doesn't want to give me another surprise, does he? Having a carol is enough surprises. Fortunately, things have been perfectly resolved. Otherwise, he doesn't know how to end it, about Bifrost. Russell looked directly at him and said with a smile. There is an important item that you haven't delivered yet. Ulu Metal. Hearing this, Odin was suddenly speechless and couldn't help but rolled his eyes. Supreme Mage, your request is a bit too much. Do you still have the face to ask me for this? Don't you forget how you got my destroyer armor into your bag back then? Isn't that whole set the Ulu medal you want? She turned her head, avoiding his eyes. Russell pretended he didn't see anything and didn't realize it. With a thick skin, he said straightforwardly. This is an obligation you should fulfill. One yard owned by a yard. I snatched this destroyer armor by my own ability. Why should it count in this matter? Hearing this, Odin's teeth itch with hatred and he was so angry. What the hell? He thought so. The destroyer armor was taken by Supreme Mage just happens to be the building material for Bifrost. Just turn a blind eye and close one eye. Similarly, I also think this is a tacit understanding between the two. Don't mention this matter again, but now. Under the revisiting of old things, this man, lift up his pants and refuse to admit it. The more he thought about it, the more angry he became, Odin simply closed his eyes and stopped thinking about it. Without looking back, he said in an angry way. The Ulu medal you want Asgard doesn't have. If you want, go to Nadavi by yourself and ask the dwarfs for it. Dwarf? How could it be in their hands? Hearing this, Russell was a little surprised. However, some thoughts came to mind for a while. Just so, borrow the dwarfs and build Bifrost together. Nadawi. Among the nine realms, the hometown of dwarfs. Under the stars of the universe, starry. A huge star ring made of steel is slowly rotating. Huge body, as if across the starry sky, towering. It is hard to imagine that this is a product created by man. Center of the star ring, at the furnace of fixed star. The scorching flame shrouded in light, terrible high temperature coverage, as if it can melt everything. The whole Nadavi is shrouded in a flame. Even, even the surrounding cosmic starry sky was dyed more than half red. Inside the star ring, Russell's figure appeared in this place. Beside him, there was a familiar figure, Thor Thor. Only. The current hymn is no longer the prestige in Asgard. Disgraced. Even the stylish look has become a lot more sloppy. 
The silver scale breastplate, which was able to brighten the eyes of dogs and dogs, can no longer shine. And the red cloak on the back is even more dim. Dirty hanging on the back, as if turned into a rag. This unlucky boy, I'm afraid it was ruined by these dwarfs. Looking at the figure next to him, Russell couldn't help but laughed unkindly. He also guessed that Odin would exile him here. Only. What he didn't expect was that. When we meet again, we will see him like this. Next to him, he noticed that strange look in his eyes. Thor's face was full of helplessness. I said, Supreme Mage, can you stop looking at me like this? Ever since he arrived, this Supreme Mage has been staring at him like this. Those curious eyes seem to be looking at a monkey. He admits that his current appearance is really not in line with his god's demeanor. But, it doesn't have to be like this, it's just uncomfortable all over. I was a little upset, I was so angry that I wanted to pick up a hammer. Okay, okay. Russell smiled and looked away. Doing so is indeed a bit excessive. After all, this is exposing scars. Poor Thor, this is the second time he's been exiled. Moreover, he was exiled directly to the blacksmith shop. Well, a high tech workshop powered by Fixed Star. Soon. Follow in the footsteps of the two. There are several huge amounts of figures in front of you. This is the dwarfs who live here. The Ulu medal you want is in their hands. Thor explained with an unhappy face. At first, see the light of Bifrost. He thought it was Odin who sent someone to pick him up. At any rate, I still remember having his son. As a result, I ran over to have a look. Who knew it was this supreme mage who came over? This is so. He is a little skeptical now. Are you really your own? Hearing this, Russell nodded knowingly. However, looking at the dozens of huge amounts of figures in front of him, he couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth. Although I knew it a long time ago, when I saw it for the first time, I still couldn't help but have the urge to complain. This dwarf. MMP, you call this dwarf? A dwarf that is five meters high? The kind that can fan a person into an urn with a single slap? In this way, don't human beings become little ants? With such huge amounts of body shape, I'm afraid I can't even see my nostrils when I look up. At most, just look at their double chins, at this time. The dwarfs also discovered their existence. Soon someone greeted him. Thor, this is. This is Iqui, King of Dwarf, Thor introduced. This is an Asgardian from Midgard, hell, Midgard? Hearing this, Iqui was taken aback for a moment. Immediately afterwards, he stretched out his hand enthusiastically. Hello, Supreme Mage, although there are some doubts in my heart. When did Midgard have such a thing as an Asgardian? However, just being able to ride Bifrost comes to this. You can be sure that he is not hostile, because, as a vassal of Asgard, Odin will not harm them. Looking at the huge palm falling from the sky, Russell couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. Helpless, I could only reach out and touch it. Hello. With that said, he didn't delay much. Straightforwardly, he directly explained his purpose. Iqui, I am here this time for the construction of Bifrost. Odin said that you have a lot of experience in this matter. So, I'd like to ask you for your help to complete the construction of Bifrost. Bifrost? Hearing this, Dwarf King Iqui was taken aback for a moment. On the other side, Tolton was startled. He looked over with eyes full of disbelief. This is so. That's not what you said just now. What about Ulu Metal? What I'm talking about now is clearly trying to empty out this dwarf kingdom. Do you want us to help you build Bifrost? Iqui was surprised, and asked in disbelief. Like the one in Asgard? Yes. Russell nodded affirmatively. Full design drawings and materials provided by Odin. Mostly done now. The remaining most complicated part may need your help. Hearing this, I Kui was taken aback for a moment. In my heart, I couldn't help but muttered, This Odin, when did you talk so easily? Bifrost's design drawings, just give it. Even the materials are wrapped round for him. Looking at the supreme mage in front of him, he had no choice but to doubt. I'm afraid there is some kind of PY transaction between these two. Thoughts churned in my heart for a while, but soon, he shook his head and refused. Sorry, we may not have much time these days. There is no time? Russell frowned suddenly. His eyes unconsciously looked to the side. Is your kid doing something here again? Thor. I'm not, I'm not, don't talk nonsense. But soon. Seeing the interaction between the two, IGN suddenly smiled. It's not because of Thor, although he often seems very naughty. What's that? Russell said, turning his head to look over. 
Because of God King Odin. I tree explained with a smile. There's something wrong with his destroyer armor. And soon, he will lead Asgard, so, we're forging a new suit of armor for him. Hearing this, Russell's face suddenly became weird. There is something wrong with the destroyer armor, it is simply lost. Moreover, it is in his hands, however, after thinking about it, he suddenly couldn't laugh or cry. Co-author, this is something he made himself. If it weren't for him encouraging Carol to pull Asgard into the water. I'm afraid there are not so many things now, but. Forge a new pair of armor. I'm afraid Odin is going to play for real this time. Russell felt a little emotional. What is this? The last craziness? Counterattack before dying? When you still have the strength to fight, beat out Asgard's deterrence. This is so. Well intentioned, it is simply arranged clearly. It's a pity, it's just that this hammer is a bit unsatisfactory. The stupid son of the landlord's family. If Thor had Loki's cleverness, he would have sat on the throne of God King long ago. Why would Odin need to work so hard? Casting a glance at the dwarfs who were in full swing not far away, Russell suggested again. I don't need much, I just need you to send a few dwarfs over there. Well, just treat it as a technical guide. The work of construction is still handed over to Wakanda, Tony and others. At the very least, it can speed up a lot of progress. However, when I Kui heard this, his expression became strange. With a bitter smile on his face, he shook his head. Do you know the population of our dwarf? Hearing this, Russell was taken aback for a moment. Immediately afterwards, mental power spread out, covering the entire star ring. But immediately, his face became weird. More than 300 people. How come there are so few? The dwarfs of the entire Nadawi add up, but there are only so few people. Moreover, it also includes all old and weak women and children. Thinking of this, Russell suddenly felt a little unbelievable, pointing. In other words, the ones in front of you are all dwarf craftsmen? You guessed right. I Kui nodded bitterly. Although we have a unique ability in forging, the difficulty of multiplying offspring. Hey, it's hard to say. Hearing this, Russell was suddenly speechless. What the hell, it's beyond words. This is simply extermination. I'm afraid we don't have to wait for Thanos to do it. Not long after. This Nadawi dwarf is going extinct. However, at this moment, outside the star ring, in the starry sky shrouded in darkness, abruptly, countless lights flickered. Immediately afterwards, countless dense space grids appeared like honeycombs. At the same time, the ear-piercing siren sounded immediately. Not good. Our position has been exposed. Iqui's face changed suddenly, and he was extremely dignified. Someone else found our location, as the most prestigious craftsman family in the universe. Many magical weapons come from their hands. The legendary of Nadawi Dwarf is widely circulated. Similarly, it is also the object that many people covet. Everyone wants to take a bite of the sweet pastry, even if it is attached to Odin's men, with the blessing of Asgard. Also move around at all times to make sure you don't expose yourself to other people's eyes. But now, this jumping point is clearly piercing his face. Isn't it obvious that someone already knew their location? Soon, in the honeycomb-like spatial grid, a huge fleet appears impressively, densely packed across the entire starry sky. Among them, the conspicuous logo is engraved on it. The moment he saw the fleet, Iqui's eyes widened. This is. Fleet of the Kree Empire. Kree Empire? What kind of son do they want to punish? Hearing this, Russell couldn't help frowning immediately. Looking at the logo on the huge fleet, I suddenly felt a little familiar. This logo, he can often see on Carol's clothes. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. Well, it seems that this big mom's combat uniform has been around for a while. He remembered that she had left the earth in this dress from the very beginning. And now, all these years have passed, I am afraid. It smells like that. Next, though. Iqui's complexion changed again and again, and his complexion was extremely ugly. It was cold all over, as if I had fallen into a hole in the ice. These Cree fleets are coming from bad people. And and it has been planned for a long time. Otherwise, it would be impossible to locate Nadawi directly and accurately. But, for all of this, he did nothing to stop it. Originally, dwarfs were not a race good at fighting. Even if he has the ability to forge a divine weapon, he has never thought of forging a divine weapon for himself. Not to mention, the number of clansmen is still so rare. If there is a little accident, maybe the clan will be exterminated directly. Outside the window, 
under the curtain of the pitch black starry sky. The densely packed fleet gradually enveloped the entire Nadawi. The icy muzzle pointed straight at it, ready to go. Looking at this scene, Thor couldn't help feeling a little chilled all over his body, and his whole body trembled. Turning his head, he had a wry smile on his face. Do you think we still have a chance to ask Asgard for help now? I'm afraid it's too late. I Kui shook his head solemnly. Now, the huge fleet has surrounded them. I'm afraid it's not a distress signal. Even if Odin reacts now, he can't save them. Hearing this, there was a dumbfounding expression on Ur's face. Turning his head, he looked to the side, above that figure. Supreme Mage, it seems that this matter still needs to be entrusted to you. I am afraid that only this person can hope to solve the current crisis. He is very self aware. Although he is well known Thor in Asgard, he is admired by all. However, it is not yet strong enough to fight against the fleet. More importantly, to him, how to survive in a vacuum is another problem. I? Hearing this, Russell couldn't help frowning immediately equals v i percent compared to the participants most of the time he prefers to exist as a bystander well the same goes for ancient one maybe this is the sequelae after becoming the supreme mage however turning his eyes to the huge amounts of figure he suddenly had an idea in his heart atri what do you think of transferring nadawi to the vicinity of earth earth i Kui was a little confused that's midgard russell explained persuasively there, it is an absolutely safe area. With the protection of Asgard and me, you will definitely be protected from danger. If you agree, then the fleet of the Kree Empire will not be a problem. Hearing this, I Kui still didn't react. On the other side, Thor's scalp was numb from the operation show. In my heart, I have something to say, this operation. Red, naked conspiracy, so open and above board to poach someone? Moved to the vicinity of the Earth, aren't these dwarfs at your disposal? became your labor force? And it's the one that's completely free. Co-author of the dwarf family that we Asgard has kept for so long. In the end, you wanted to kidnap like this? However, judging from Iqui's loyalty to Asgard, he shouldn't agree to Supreme Mage's condition so easily, right? Thor thought to himself. After all, judging from his understanding of Iqui, this point above, should be guaranteed, right? However, at the moment, Iqui didn't think so much about Ben. His mind was full of ways to escape from the siege of the Kerry Empire fleet. After reacting, he nodded quickly. Supreme Mage, I agree with your plan. Hurry up and help us escape from this place. The dead horse was treated as a living horse. Think of it as a dying attempt. Anyway, they didn't have the slightest ability to resist in front of this huge fleet. We might as well pin our hopes on this Supreme Mage. Hearing this, Tolton was a little dumbfounded. This is so didn't even bargain, just agreed so simply. What about loyalty? Cosmic deep space, under the curtain of darkness. The vast number of battleships cover everything around them. The shining light is extremely dazzling, even light up the surrounding starry sky. In the vacuum of space, looking at the scene in front of him, Russell couldn't help feeling a little emotional. It seems that the Empire here has spent a lot of money for these dwarfs. You do not say, this time the fleet was led by Ronan last time. Even bigger, it even fills up the whole area. People can't help but have the illusion of a traffic jam. The Kree Empire invaded the nest, just to let the dwarfs cast an artifact for them? No, this is just trying to move the whole Nadawi away. Let these dwarfs become their wage earners, after all. Although the Kree Empire is powerful and technologically advanced. However, a truly handy artifact. There is only one hammer, the universal weapon. Also, it got lost in some sloppy corner because of Ronan. Thinking about it, I feel a little pitiful. However, with a look in his eyes, Russell frowned for a moment and found something was wrong. There is an aura in it, so familiar, as if met somewhere. After thinking for a long time, I couldn't figure it out. Worth mentioning. Go and have a look first. At the same time, huge amounts of flagship interiors. Thanos' figure looms large, rubbing the huge amounts of Infinity Gauntlet on the palm of your hand. A confident smile appeared on his face, as if everything is in the plan, Jiju is in hand. However, at this moment, suddenly, in front of him, a gold vortex opened. Attracted everyone's attention. Immediately afterwards, before he could react, what was going on? A familiar figure appeared in front of him. The moment he saw this figure, Thanos was stunned. 
exalted mage? How did you end up in this place? As soon as he walked out, he heard a familiar voice. Russell turned his head and looked, suddenly stunned. Couldn't help but rolled his eyes and replied. Do I still want to ask you this question? Such a big purple sweet potato essence, come right away. What about the Kree Empire fleet? If it weren't for the fact that there were a few Kree soldiers next to them. He almost thought that he had gone the wrong way and came to Thanos' fleet. For a while. The scene was a bit embarrassing. Looking at each other, the two were a little speechless. But soon. Russell has come to his senses. He looked at the Kree soldiers who gradually surrounded him. Immediately couldn't help frowning. You brought all these Kree people? He could think of no other reason than this one. This time, Thanos did a leading party, and what he did it for. Thinking in his heart, Russell couldn't help but cast his eyes on his huge amounts of palms. The figure of Infinity Gauntlet is impressive. Among them, Mind Gem is not to be outdone, the immaculate brilliance flickered. It seems that there is invisible power spreading in my heart. It's here to create a real Infinity Gauntlet. Of this, Russell can be sure. Hearing this, Mie suddenly woke up. Noticing his strange gaze, he couldn't help frowning. But soon, it calmed down. He waved his hand to signal the Kree soldiers to back down. Then, he rubbed Mind Gem unconsciously, and he said with a half-hearted smile. Yes, these Kree people were indeed brought by me. There is a relationship of allies between the two. What the Kree Empire lacks the most is probably the army. And it just so happens that he needs these powerful Kree troops, they can come in handy. After all, those crooked melons and dates in the hand. Except for a few generals, there is no one who can fight. But soon, the subject changed, and he continued. Supreme Mage, it seems that you know a lot. At the same time, in my heart, ideas flowed extremely fast. Looking at the figure in front of him, he couldn't help being a little puzzled. Why is he here? As the Supreme Mage, shouldn't you stay on the earth? At least, in his cognition. That's what the Ancient One used to do. Keep your ears shut and guard the earth with all your heart. But, the Supreme Mage in front of me seems to be different. He's far more active than Ancient One, think carefully. Whether it's about the chat group, or judging from the information he knows. This Supreme Mage seems to be a master who likes to join in the fun. It's like watching the fun is not a big deal. Russell showed no sign of weakness to his gaze, and cast a disdainful glance. That's definitely. Are you here for these dwarfs? I'm sorry, we have the same purpose, Odin isn't dead yet. Are you thinking about the dwarfs like Huo Huo? What's so coincidental that the car hit the face? Come on, let's touch each other again. The purpose is the same? Hearing this, Thanos was stunned. Immediately afterwards, he was even more speechless. Are you here for these dwarfs too? What should I say? What a coincidence, you too it's so hard to die, it suddenly crashed. Now, embarrassing. Let him have nothing to say. However, looking at the supreme mage in front of him, he couldn't help but feel a little puzzled. What do you need dwarfs for you? Build artifacts. If it were someone else, he could be sure of this idea. However, for the one in front of you, are you missing one or two artifacts? Hearing this, Russell immediately raised his eyebrows and said confidently. Lack. Why not? Although I already have the Book of Visandi, Eye of Agamotto, Vadim's Wand, Magic Floating Cloak, Destroyer Armor. However, these were sent by others, I need an artifact of my own. Show off. Is simply bare, naked, naked showing off. Just listening to it, Thanos felt a rush of breath coming to his face. Not only is he slapping his face, but he is also rubbing his forehead against the ground. Hearing the corners of his mouth twitch, this is so. He thought he knew enough. As a result, there are more hidden in other people's pockets. Even the first few. What made him feel even worse? How did this destroyer armor fall into his hands? This reminded him of some not so good memories. Once, the experience of being hanged and beaten. Could it be that Odin really gave it to him? Thinking of this, he suddenly doubted his life. This is simply a stark gap between the rich and the poor. Others already have several artifacts. And, what the hell, someone delivered it to your door. And he. Even the only infinity gauntlet I have, is fake. Only with the existence of Mind Gem, maybe it can last a while. Thinking of this, he suddenly felt a little tired. He silently hid his arms behind his back. Stand up with hands behind your back. Soon, he walked in front of him, without anger, looking down and saying. Supreme Mage, have you decided yet? Are you sure you want to stop my actions? Be my enemy? 
Hearing this, Russell couldn't help raising his eyebrows. Who said that? I didn't intend to stop you. Looking up, seeing his eyes filled with the word, Chi Fu, I couldn't help laughing. If I let him know that I still have a space gem in my hand, that expression must be more interesting. Only. Doing so is so arrogant, it doesn't match his usual low key style. Moreover, it is extremely easy to be beaten. Think about it, forget it. When the time comes, give him a surprise, Russell thought to himself. Don't stop me. Hearing this, Thanos was suddenly surprised. At the same time, the expression on face couldn't help but be a little joyful. Some unbelievably confirmed. What you said is true. He vaguely remembered, isn't the relationship between Supreme Mage and Asgard pretty good? Listening to this means, do you want to stand by and watch? Seeing him like this, Russell couldn't help but have a funny look on his face. Definitely true. But, have you considered Odin's feelings? Odin's feelings? Asterisk asterisk. Shouldn't Odin be dealing with the Frost Titan right now? Thanos frowned, looking over with puzzled eyes. However, see the playful expression on his face. Suddenly my heart trembled, and the corners of my eyes twitched. Could I have been cheated? The information given by the Kree Empire? Seems a little unreliable, Frost Titan. Hearing this, Russell couldn't help laughing immediately. Your information is out of date. The matter of Frost Titan has been resolved long ago. If you stay here any longer, I'm afraid it won't be long before Odin will come over. He thought, who gave Thanos such courage? Let him dare to trouble Dwarf at this time. As a result, that's it. False information is harmful to people. Russell couldn't help feeling a little emotional. Looking at Thanos who was stupefied in front of him. Suddenly, out of kindness, reminded, by the way, Carol and Odin have made an alliance. If you don't leave, you may be left behind. Are you afraid of mixed doubles? Hearing this, Thanos suddenly trembled all over. In my heart, I was even more anxious. Turn around and change in a hurry. Plan cancelled. Retreat. Get out of this damn place right now. Nadawi. On the huge platform that moves slowly. Falling with the light of Bifrost, Odin's figure appeared here. Following. There is also a huge fleet all over the starry sky. The light of gold shines continuously. Even, fill the entire starry sky again. Odin holds the eternal gun and wears a gorgeous battle armor. The expression on his face was not angry but prestige. In my heart, I couldn't help but get angry, go up and down. He never thought about it. The Horn of War will begin with the invasion of the Kree Empire. They've only just put together an army, and they haven't even started yet. Result. Instead, someone knocked on the door first. This is naked provocation, provoking his majesty as the king of Asgard. However, this is not bad, given us a reason to go to war, Odin thought to himself. Ever since, the army was integrated and came over aggressively. Just, after coming here, looking at the peaceful starry sky, he couldn't help being a little puzzled and confused. Turning back, frowning, he asked, where is the Kerry Empire fleet you were talking about? In the dark starry sky, there was a dead silence. Don't tell me it's the Kree fleet? Not even a ghost. If Heimdall hadn't said it, he would probably have thought it was a prank. Your Majesty Odin, as you can see, they have already left. Iqui was full of palpitations. After finishing speaking, he glanced at the figure beside him, and added a sentence full of gratitude. Definitely, with the help of Supreme Mage, with two sentences, they were easily repelled. The effort of two sentences. Hearing this, Odin couldn't help but have some doubts suspiciously turned his head and looked over. What he said is true. Is there really such a Dio? Hearing this, Luo suddenly became speechless. What is the effort of two sentences? What the hell is going to blow him up? This says, can't you be a little more tactful? However, looking at the expression on Odin's face, he nodded heartily. Ahem, he's right. Almost, that's what it means. It's just that it's not just the Kree fleet that came here this time. More importantly, Thanos, Hearing this, Li Gong was shocked. A look of surprise appeared on his face, Thanos. How did he end up here with the Kree? Hearing this, Russell couldn't help giving him a blank look, and said speechlessly. He and the Kerry Empire are allies, isn't this normal? Hearing this, Odin shook his head solemnly and explained. No, I mean, what are they trying to do? Could it be that they just want to test the truth and start a war by the way? If it is like this, obviously, they succeeded. But, casting a glance at him, Russell's expression was exceptionally speechless. 
Does this old guy really not understand, or is he pretending to be confused? Just look at the expression on his face, as if he really didn't know about it. Ever since, he could only remind him aloud, Infinity Gauntlet. He wants dwarfs to make him a real one, Infinity Gauntlet. Hearing this, everyone was shocked. Perhaps among all the people present, only Thor didn't know what this thing was. And Odin heard it, suddenly, suddenly realized. So it's for this artifact, no wonder I found this place. No wonder they went out of their way to trouble the dwarfs, it was because of the Infinity Gauntlet. However, thinking of this, he couldn't help but feel a little deeply moved. It seems that Thanos has not given up on his plan. He still has a clue about Thanos' plan to collect infinite gems. Turning his head, he couldn't help looking to the side, and couldn't help exhorting. Supreme Mage, the existence of Time Gem, I hope you can keep it safe. It must not fall into the hands of Thanos, that's definitely, this kind of thing doesn't need your reminder at all. He didn't have this chance at all. Russell shot him an annoyed look. But soon, his eyes turned to the side, he looked at the tall and cautious figure beside him. He changed the subject, and then said, I think dwarfs need to find a safe place now. At least, it can make other people dispel their thoughts about them. Odin thought for a while, and couldn't help but nodded in agreement. This is indeed the case. Good. Hearing this, the smile on Russell's face suddenly became brighter, and he continued. And what do you think of Earth? You can not only enjoy Asgard's blessing, but also have my protection. For them, it is definitely the safest place. And, more importantly, the dwarfs have agreed to this Fang Lu. Hearing this, Odin's eyes widened immediately. Turning his head, he looked over in disbelief. What he said is true, you promised him. That's right. I Kui nodded. I couldn't help but pat the back of my head, a little confused by his big reaction. I think what Supreme Mage said makes sense. Hearing this, Odin was speechless for a moment. Makes sense ass. This is someone abducted and went to the pit, okay? Looking at Russell's smiling eyes, Odin felt aggrieved suddenly. Good guy. Steal my destroyer armor, it's okay to almost cheat him. Now, do you still want to expose my old background? Is it possible that you really regard Asgard as your own home? In the universe. Star bright. The huge fleet seems to be crossing the galaxy. Makes for a magnificent sight. Travel through the stars. And headed. Huge amounts of flagship interiors. Thanos' figure looms large. Looking at the figure in front of him, he was very angry. The information you gave me was not accurate. Odin isn't bothered by the Frost Titan thing at all now. If he hadn't retreated in time, I'm afraid, they've all been made into dumplings now. Surrounded by two powerful such as Odin and Carol at the same time. Such a scene. It's like dancing on the tip of a knife. On the verge of death, crazy temptation. Just thinking about it makes me shudder. Thanos shivered suddenly. And opposite. Amidst the radiance, the figure shrouded in light. Supreme Wisdom. A living computer created by the Kree. It is the crystallization of wisdom of the entire Kree race. At the same time, he is also the ruler of the Kree Empire. At the moment, the expression on his face was also somewhat helpless. It's not easy to get information about Asgard. This originally takes a certain amount of time. Who knew it would be such a coincidence? Good luck, Odin just finished dealing with the Frost Titan. They hit it off, he just found out about it. Only. Now I know, it's a bit late. Thanos definitely knows this. It is not easy to know the information about Asgard. However, regarding the matter that I almost fell into the pit. He was clearly resentful. Immediately, thinking brokenly. Forget about the Frost Titan. Why didn't you even tell me the news about the alliance between Ms. Marvel and Asgard? Also, that supreme mage also just appeared there. He was a little puzzled. Did you just hit your luck? Or is it all premeditated? Recalling the eyes of supreme mage watching a show. He couldn't help but feel a little unhappy. But soon, after thinking about it, he thought of more. Could it be that this supreme mage knew about my arrival long ago and waited for me there specially? Simply terrified. With the time gem in hand, he did have a chance to foresee this kind of thing. Only. What's his purpose in doing this? Thanos wondered. And. Came here to remind you, kindhearted? No. He felt in his heart that there should be a deeper meaning in it. It's just that I don't know it, at the moment. A figure walked in. Whole body blue skin. Mechanical structures all over the body. It's Nebula. Another adopted daughter of his. However, for her sudden intrusion. Thanos was displeased for a moment. 
Xingyun, I should have said, no one can come in without my order. If you can't give me a reasonable explanation, then. He looked over with vaguely menacing eyes. Sensing the look in his eyes, Sheng Yun secretly groaned inwardly. After a while, I became even more depressed. Originally, compared to that cheaper sister Gamora. In front of her adoptive father, she is not treated very well. And now, it seems to have touched his brow. What commands, explanations, etc. She's never heard of it, she is no stranger to this feeling. Oops, it seems to be a punching bag again, so mortal. Just hit the gun. Thinking of this, she felt a lot of resentment in her heart. Although they are all adopted daughters, however, the difference in treatment between the two is too obvious. Is it because Gamora grows greener? But soon, she stopped thinking about it. The look in his eyes became more and more dangerous. At the same time, another line of sight also looked over. It made her feel panicked, and explained quickly. Father, there is an important matter that needs to be reported to you. Originally, she still wanted to ask for credit. However, looking at the way it is now, it is impossible to accept punishment. It's been considered lucky. Hearing this, Thanos frowned suddenly, and looked over with sharp eyes. What's the matter? There's an Asgardian named Loki. He claims to be the Prince of Asgard. Want to see you. 